You were fantastic on Investor Talk, and we were talking about carbon credits and how farmers benefit from a contract with Fuel Positive. Can you explain that to our audience, please? Well, sure. So every installed system um, around the world starts to generate credits as soon as it's uh, as soon as it's operational. Um, so the moment it's it has a geographic footprint, it it starts generating credits in the in the region that it's in. Now, credit systems differ all over the world. Um, so it's complex. So to that end, we've we've brought in a, a consultant, Andre Mech, who's one of the top uh, carbon uh, carbon credit and carbon reduction specialists in the world. He's been in the in the space for decades, uh, and Andre um, has helped design a um, an application for the company where we can look at the specific the specifics of end user um, application and the type of credits that would be generated. Fuel Positive owns those credits contractually, but we have the ability to utilize uh, the value of those credits to help end users meet their operating targets um, and their return on investment targets as well. So it becomes currency for the company. Um, a very yeah so it's a very going forward certainly over the next couple of decades that will be an extremely important part of the flexibility that fuel positive will have with uh, with our customers and of course you were mentioning you were a direct to business sales model and you reduce some of the cost in the previous supply chain and you're tapping into a substantial audience can you tell us a little bit more about this well, yeah, no, the the beauty of what we're doing is that we are eliminating supply chain. Like we are basically taking this incredibly complex century old commodity and we're saying, you know what, every all that infrastructure that exists out there to deliver uh, uh, ammonia to the end user is completely irrelevant. So now we can go to the end user and say, hey, you know, you can produce on in initial cases on your farm, you can produce all of the nitrogen fertilizer you need um, at the supply level that you need at, and at a cost that will be absolutely locked in for decades um, and eliminate this incredible variability and insecurity that exists around uh, the way that business is done today. So that's the that's the transformative nature of what we're doing. That's the disruptive nature of what we're doing. It, it really is turning um, a hundred year old way of doing things entirely upside down. And the end users love it like the the security that it gives them the independence that they get that it gives them they just eat that up like that's a, an incredibly positive part of our story is that is that level of security and independence that it's created okay so we have green tech and also you talked about the dependability so you have these modular systems uh which allow uh, sustainability for all intents purposes for the farmers can you tell us a little bit more about the dependability please yeah, so I, I mean, a year and a half ago, as I was putting together the initial team from both an engineering and manufacturing perspective, I brought in individuals who had decades of experience in terms of building the most robust technologies. Uh, Nelson Leet, who's our chief operating officer, um, decades of experience building very, very complex manufacturing lines, working with high pressure systems and so on. And the design of those is such that they do last for decades. These are not systems that are, you know, you want to be obsolete in five years. You want them to be running at capacity um, into decades. So that was our design point. That was our target as we started building the first system. Uh, and the robust nature of it is 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 reflected certainly in the in the finished product. So that's what we're commissioning right now is getting that first system up and running um, and on farm uh, on farm as soon as possible. Well, you heard it here first on Investor Intel. For more information on Fuel Positive, please go to their website. Thank you so much, Ian, for joining us today. Thanks, thanks, Tracy.